So the suspect in this, this massacre at this theater in Colorado, Aurora, Colorado, will make his first court appearance on Monday. James Holmes has not been charged officially, has not. We can, we can presume that since police say they have their guy, that first degree murder will be among the counts against him. 12 people were killed, 71 in all injured. Now, Mark Harold is an attorney and a uh, former police officer. He joins us to kind of talk us through what we can expect to happen as it starts to make its way um, through the legal system, even though the investigation actually is still going on uh, right now. Mark, what can we um, expect in this first court appearance on Monday? Well, he'll have an initial hearing. The, uh, basically, his rights will be explained. Uh, there may be some competency issues early on as to his degree of knowledge of what's going on. I don't think it'll be major. Mm -hmm. It might come up later. But at the initial hearing, what you're going to see is his rights will be explained to him. Uh, the charges to some degree. Uh, there'll be a preliminary hearing later. But they'll get legal counsel involved. I don't know what his money situation is, whether this could be a capital case. So they'll have to have a certain type of public defender or, of course, his family or he can hire a lawyer. But originally it's going to be a short hearing. It'll be obviously a lot of media there because of the severity of the crime and the national exposure, international exposure, actually. Mm -hmm. But the initial hearing will most likely be very short. It'll just be to get the ball rolling on the litigation. Uh, place the charges and explain his rights and probably get him in and out of court fairly quickly. Let's talk about um, the charges. There were 71 people injured. Where do you begin with the charges? Well, this was premeditated. It appeared to be obviously he had put on clothing. It seemed planned. Initially, they thought that some of the um, advanced planning may have been to put weapons inside the theater. I think you're looking at a first-degree murder charge here. Uh, there's also going to be probably be some federal charges, depending on what kind of booby traps they find inside that apartment. It's very well that those incendiary devices will be federal, so he may be facing state and federal time here. Okay. Uh, Colorado is a capital state. They don't execute people very often. Last one was in 97, and they've only executed one person since 1976 when it was reinstated. It is a capital state, though, and there's a very good chance that the prosecutors will seek the death penalty. You know, earlier we heard from the um, FBI special agent in charge. He said that this does not appear to be... Um, appear to be terrorism related, but what are the kinds of questions that law enforcement ask themselves as they, as they answer that question? Well, absolutely. First of all, I'd like to say, I'm not so sure. I think terror is a tactic. Okay. So I think that this is terrorism. It's just, I think what they mean is this may not be linked to any kind of international terrorism. All right. But in my opinion, as terrorism, terrorists, Terrorism is a tactic you use to further some goal or do whatever you want to do. I think this man is a terrorist. He may not be an international terrorist. I know what the FBI means, but I, I think this is terrorism. It's domestic terrorism. Uh, they're going to be looking mainly because of the complexity of this crime, or at least how it was planned out, whether other individuals were involved, whether anyone maybe was going to be outside to wait for him and then left, and the car was there and he was apprehended. He didn't apparently try to get away right away, so maybe he thought somebody else was going to be out there to drive him away. Uh, it was a complex plan. It took, took a lot of thinking. He's obviously a very uh, disturbed individual, but his academic records and what people are saying, he's a very intelligent one, and that unfortunately made him a very dangerous one. Uh, Mark Harold, fantastic insight, and thank you for basically um, breaking down the terrorism angle. I think that that needed to be um, addressed today, and we appreciate your insight on that. We're going to pick up on that point also on the other side of the break. Um, HLN is staying on.